Tonight, veterans from World War II, Korea, and the Vietnam Wars experience something they've never experienced before, participating in Rhode Island's 24th Honor Flight. The flight takes veterans free of charge to Washington, D.C. to see the monuments that have been erected in their honor. And this time, a familiar face was on board. 96-year-old Victor Colella stole our hearts after making an emotional appearance on Caught in Providence, which airs on our sister station, the CW. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was at TF Green Airport for his send-off. She joins us now with the story. Kim? We introduced you to Victor Colella last month, and when that story aired, the chairman of the Rhode Island Honor Flight Program happened to be watching. 48 hours later, and Victor's ticket to D.C. was booked. The rumble of motorcycles in the wee hours of the morning. Bagpipes and drums inside TF Green. Underscoring the smiles and hugs. And the tears. Emotions running high as 25 veterans prepared to take Honor Flight X-ray to Washington, D.C. last Saturday. Among them, 96-year-old World War II veteran Victor Colella. I'm so excited I can't even talk. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so excited. It's emotional for everybody who's involved, including just the people in the airport. I've organized and, and, and been part of each of these honor flights, and each time it's emotional. Rhode Island Honor Flight Chairman George Farrell was the man who invited Colella on this flight. Well, I saw it on Channel 12. I was uh, watching the news, and, uh, and I saw the piece that you had done, and I knew Johnny, so I texted him right away and said he's 96, is he a veteran? Through a lot of support, we were able to visit him within 48 hours of watching the, the WPRI story, and uh, he was willing to come. Colella's brush with fame started with a speed camera citation. His court appearance on Caught in Providence went viral when he explained he was taking his adult son, who was battling cancer, to a doctor's appointment. He's handicapped. And I said, imagine all you had to do was get a speeding ticket and within 48 hours you go into Washington DC so Colella was drafted in his early 20s into the Army Air Corps completing his basic training in Texas before being stationed in Chicago well I was always in the state I didn't go overseas you know I'm not like these fellas that fought the war they deserve more than I do. If he's like all of the other veterans that I've met, and I'm sure he is, uh, he'll downplay any experiences that he had. He'll, he'll talk about, well, I didn't do this, someone else did this. And that's really about how humble they are, how grateful they are for everything that they have. The two dozen veterans soaked it all in. Colella, one of the two oldest on the flight, had the distinct honor of laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. He says the day is one he'll never forget. It's unbelievable. I, I never thought in my life anything like this. I tell you, I'm, I'm really speechless. I don't know. And thanks to generous sponsors, the flights to D.C. are free for those veterans. If you know a Korean War or World War II veteran who'd like to participate, you can find more information right now on our website, WPRI.com. I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.